Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your December 2020 love reading. Um, if we pick up any career and finance and I'll, you know, let you know what I see. Uh, but it is a love reading. Um, it won't resonate with all. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who already do so. Thank you to those who are continued uh, subscribers. Faithfully subscribe. So thank you. Um, also, happy birthday. Okay? And happy belated Thanksgiving. And if you celebrate. And Merry Christmas, guys. All right, so let's jump into this. Okay, off camera, what I was getting is um, either there's a lot of talk around you, a lot of gossip, maybe you're participating in it, or it's about you. I don't know. Uh, only you know. Some of you, I think for my male Sagittarius, you have more than one woman. And you have to figure out what, what you're doing here. You know, you got to make some definite uh, decision here. Um, let's see what's going on. All right, so in the past for the Sagittarius Collective, what was going on for Sagittarius in the past? All right, very nice. Nine of Cups, you might have got news of um, wish fulfillment or birth. You could be or are experiencing some luxury, some emotional satisfaction. Some of you could be drinking too much, overindulgence. Um... Some of you could be in a very nostalgic state in terms of maybe being separated or away from person, place, or thing. Something that you long for. Something that you hope and wish for. Uh, so that is what's going on in your past. Uh, could have been good news. or um, Yeah. Could be good news. I'm seeing a, a lot of you know, pregnancy news here. Okay, so currently, what is going on for the Sagittarius? Prince of Pentacles. Okay, so something is in its early stage. I'm here, uh, early infancy, um, or in the infancy stage. Once again, that pregnancy could be heavy here. Um, could be dealing with someone who's younger than you. Whatever it is you're doing, you're staying diligent um, and dedicated to your desire. Maybe you desire this or the other person desires it. Uh, but right now, the situation is just um, being diligent to your desire. Also, you could be learning or trying to learn about or, yeah, learn about maybe a new way of, of doing something or putting money into or income into um, there could be a young adult around you who's doing something and learning you're learning that they're putting their money or they're making money doing something new take it how it resonates um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus Definitely um, being studious about something, about you, you needing to be learned. See, in the past, okay, so it was wish fulfillment. I think for some of you, if it's, if it's not pregnancy news, there was the pregnancy, there was the birth. Here is the child. So you're um, this is like child rearing, parenting. Um, that, and you, you're just learning. You're learning yourself. You're learning this kid. You're just learning a whole new way of living here, all right? Okay. Um, the advice for you right now. Some of you are um, get, getting what you wanted in the past. And uh, now you're learning about this new person. You got a new person and you're learning about them. All right. So the advice for the Sagittarius, ooh, jeez, these cards are jumping out way too many. Advice for the Sag. Advice for the Sag, okay. Ace of Wands, very nice. Okay, so it says, um, 
be motivated, driven. You, some of you might be having issues with your motivation and your drive. Maybe there's that you're tired. Um, there's a tired energy here, especially if you have a young child. Um, excitement. Look, if you're not pregnant, if you haven't heard news of a new baby for you or someone else, um, it could very well happen here with these cards. Uh, the advice is telling you that, yeah, you could, you could get someone pregnant. Jesus, or you could get pregnant. All right. Um, some of you have been being impregnated with a new idea, a new way of being, a new life. I mean, just learning something new about yourself, about existence. Okay. All right. In the past, there could have been overindulgence and um, addiction. Now, currently, this is you learning something new about yourself, about how you operate, about how you can operate differently in your life. You're having the drive, the motivation, the push to, um, you're just being driven to be, oh, be concerned about your health, wealth, and happiness and your vitality. Okay. All right. All right. Only took five minutes. Um, okay, so that's the advice. Be driven about your health, wealth, and vitality. Okay, health, wealth, happiness, and vitality. All right, the outcome, if you take the advice of the cards, the king of wands, very nice. So good news in terms of any business endeavors, good news in terms of um, money also. Um, what you desire is going to come to fruition. Um, it's, it's asking you, in the in the outcome, you're going to be very focused on the bigger picture and, and not really focused on the small and the minute things of this situation. Um, some of you... What is this about? Because it's very general. Okay. Lord God, what is the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in the past? Nine of Wands. All right. So, separation. Thought you were done with something or someone, but you're longing for this person. You could even be watching them. This is your card, the Nine of Wands. Um, they could be watching you, vice versa. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone who has that watery feel, watery energy, very nurturing. Um, you don't know if you really put this down or you or you want to continue with the, this thing, this relationship, this person, place, or thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Okay, they said one more card, one more card on this. Four of Pentacles. You know that your life is changing or it has changed. Um, this is Taurus. You thought you put this person down or this situation down, but you still are hanging on to it in some fashion. Um, it, this could be a female energy. This could be someone hanging on, hanging on to you, Sagittarius. Someone hanging on to the, the feminine energy. Somebody's hanging on to some feminine energy here. Um, they can't let go. They thought it was over, but they can't let go. Um, they're still holding out, still holding on for them. Um, they think that something's going to turn over in this relationship, in this with this person. Um, okay, very very interesting. What is the the page of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles, Lord. The world. Okay, learning that maybe, um, yeah, this is like somebody learning how to, something is maturing. The Sagittarius learning that there needs to be maturity, learning about yourself, learn, being more studious. Maybe there's a younger person who's bringing about this new phase in your life about 
this completion um you got news of, of, a, of a small gesture a small offer in terms of money um yeah it could have come from a Taurus um or you some, you helping somebody with their baby or something about a baby um or small child you have a small child with one of the fixed signs a Scorpio uh, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Um, you could be saving up for something. Something's going on. That, you know something is going to happen big, so you're holding out and you're holding on. And you're trying to maintain your, your, your stability and your balance. I don't know what is going on here. The Ace of Wands ace of wands as your advice ace of wands as the advice okay ace of wands as the advice for the sagittarius <laughs> judgment something is happening now something is happening now um something is being revived relived rehashed renewed renewal is happening now maybe in your what? Okay, I just got this. Okay. Something is happening with some man. His his penis, his sperm. Something is happening here where maybe it didn't work at one time or there was trouble with conception and, and sperm and I don't know. Something's going on here. But something is something is being relived or revived. I just heard the Kundalini Kundalini wake awakening. Look it up for yourself, guys. It could be you know, a sexual Kundalini awakening here. Oh, Lord, this is Sag, come on. I know y'all be taking me there, but y'all taking me there today. Um, the King of Wands and the outcome. You know, so let me talk about the King of Wands and the outcome. So the King of Wands is usually the married man. He's typically married with children, okay? Um, if not traditionally pen and paper married, then he is in a committed relationship okay um something is being relived revived rehashed in terms of um sex or, or sexual nature somebody's thinking about another person as they ejaculate um another form of manifestation and magic trying to bring this person back in the fold this could be a scorpio um, doing this to you or you to them. Uh, King of Wands and the outcome. Can I find the King of Wands and the outcome? The Hermit. The Lovers. Jesus Christ. Um, Y'all gonna make me work today, huh? Mm -hmm. King of Wands and the outcome. Somebody feels like they're separated from the absolute love of their life. The twin flame, the all of that stuff that y'all subscribe to, soulmate. With all these stars here, it could be uh, the star card and Aquarius. We do have them as coming up as one of the fixed signs here with the world card. Um, Gemini here also, but somebody's going on a soul searching journey. It could be you, Sag. And in that soul searching, you come to the determination that some significant relationship, partnership, union in your life is highly important. The lovers could be with a Gemini or a Virgo or anyone. In this, where are we? 14 minutes in, and we really. And it's just been craziness. Sag, you've been all over the place. Okay, what's the gist of, of Sag's reading? I really feel like this is someone trying to draw someone back in. Okay? Um, 
this could be a person you have a child or children with. You could be doing this sad or, so, or someone could be doing this to you trying to bring you back into the fold. Bring you back into their existence. Back into their world. Back into their life. Um, So, yep, it's exactly what I said. Uh, for some of you sad men, it is um, you wanting, you secretly wanting uh, okay. Let me get one more deck. Jeez, y'all are making me work today because this. Okay, okay. Give me one card for this. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so. <sighs> All right, so some of you, you want your family unit dynamic back. I'm hearing, I just heard specifically an old family dynamic union back. You secretly want that back. It could be with a Scorpio. It could be with a Piscean, an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be man. okay? Um, you having new thoughts about maybe a pet about this past and old love, okay? And it's recurring. It's recurring thoughts about this past love. Um, there's like a new feeling toward this person because something new came into your life. Uh, maybe some new news, and it could be that this baby news. So this looks like somebody is like in another relationship. I saw all of those women when I was shuffling off camera. One relationship, somebody is taking things to the next level in terms of somebody being pregnant or, I don't know, there's a lot of happiness and elation there. It looks like pregnancy, and but with that pregnancy, there's a resurgence of um, new feelings for an old person in which somebody feels the fear of commitment is arising again for them. The fear of committing to this this new way or this new person or this new baby or this newness is um, that fear is sparking them to have new love for something or someone else that they can't get off of their mind. Someone who will possibly cut them out because they were given to too many parties. But somebody sad might want reconciliation with this person. So it's like the, the, the baby comes and you're happy for some of you and you're happy for a while. But then it, it sparks new feelings of, am I trapped? Is this really a relationship? Am I married but not being married? <gasps> I got to get out. I got to find somebody new. I got to go back to my old ways. I don't want to really want to be committed. And then for some of you, it's... <gasps> somebody's pregnant I got the pregnant oh I'm happy but oh my gosh now why am I thinking about my ex-wife I want to be with my ex-wife um and then some of you you got somebody new here but you're also holding on to an old energy and it doesn't allow you to fully commit to the newness gosh Lee um good luck Sag good luck Good luck and good riddance. I'm so done with this reading. Oh, no, I'm not. Um, the Moonology cards. My gosh, sad. You know what? You made me just as confused as you are.
Okay, yeah, y'all have worn me out. I'm good. Um, right, a new romantic cycle begins, and it might have begun around on um, that new moon in Libra, so maybe October-ish type. Um, a new romantic cycle begins. You got all these new, and for some of you, if it's not baby stuff, it's like... Um, so you were wishing and hoping for this person because you guys were separated. Then they came back around and now it's, it's going well or they're giving you some things to think about or a new way of thinking about the relationship. And now all this fear of commitment um, has risen in you and now you have feelings of just wanting to either run away or be done with it. But then there's also a feeling of running away but then realizing that this person is significant i am so confused this is absolutely correct right okay expect powerful change all right and your hard work is paying off uh what is that the new moon in capricorn that's coming up is wow Surren surrender to the divine yeah full moon because it's like something is divinely orchestrated here in terms of you know that somebody or some relationship is significant but then there's like the whole runner chaser type thing then the, here's your aquarius show the world the real you uh full moon in aquarius and someone could be dealing with an aquarius person also um, Sagittarius, if you feel like this reading made sense to you in some fashion and you want to kind of get clarity on your own situation, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the coupon code that I will be uploading on the community page in just a second. Uh, thank you. Take care. Many blessings.